So in this video, we're revealing how to make money in line with paid advertising and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More than after the intro. Hey guys, Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have been known for this week's free workshop, where it's a fast and easy way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. So, this is literally a complete guide on paid advertising. For those that don't know what paid advertising is, it could possibly be one of the best skills you could learn because it's the exact same skill that changed my life. You know, because I didn't really have that much opportunity growing up. My parents were immigrants from the Philippines, and my entire life was literally like biology, chemistry, and then either become a doctor, dentist, nurse, or lawyer. And I just never thought, okay, I could never reach freedom for myself. I will never be able to retire younger. I'll never have the money to go ahead and enjoy my life until I'm old. And I just like assumed all of these things until I learned paid advertising. And when I realized that with paid advertising, I can literally sell products that aren't even my own in front of people that I never had to see or talk to, I started getting addicted to the concept where literally I went from zero to five grand in 30 days with paid advertising to $1.6 million that first year with paid advertising. And I learned so many different things, right? And the crazy thing about this is this literally works in whatever paid advertising you will do in the future. It doesn't matter if it's like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Google right now, or if some crazy, you know, space AI robot, Tesla technology in the future will have like paid advertising in another medium. What I'm sharing with you right now will literally work in any business model that requires paid advertising, right? And this is literally the steps that I did that I'm still doing right now to this day. And the first step that you really gotta understand is you really gotta under you gotta identify your top five competitors. Now, the reason why you wanna identify your top five competitors is they're already making money. And if they're already making money in paid advertising, guess what? They're already spending money. And if they're already spending money to make money, guess what? They've also spent money in the past on experiments that failed. And the ones that they're spending money on right now, they are succeeding and successful in, right? Does that make sense? And you gotta understand, like if you're gonna make money with paid advertising, would you go out there and learn from your own mistakes and failures, which is not only expensive, but painful, would you rather wor- learn from what everyone else is already doing? Like when I first get started, you know, in anything that I'm trying to sell with paid advertising, of course I get overwhelmed. I'm like, oh man, I don't wanna lose money in paid advertising. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. I'm not really good at creatives. I don't know how to do this. And of course it's just hard because I'm unaware. I'm unaware. But then I create a list of five of my top competitors and I'm like, okay, well what are they doing? Which leads me to step number two and just find out what ads that they're running, right? Now there's so many different softwares and services that are paid that you could go ahead and do, but you could even just do it the simple way. Like one way that you could do, like say you're in health and wellness, say I wanna go ahead and compete against Vshed Red, right? I can literally go down to page transparency, click see all, go to ad library, and they'll literally tell me all of the ads that they are currently running right now. So check this out, 490 ads. So what I wanna do is look at the ones that are the oldest, because if they're the oldest, that means they've been running the longest, right? So I like scrolling all the way down to see what are the ads that they've been running for literally like the longest. Like if it's on October like 28, which is the time I'm making this, literally scroll down to see what's like the last active ad that they have. Because if they've been running this for a long time and they've published a bunch of ads every single day, so they're testing a bunch every single day, you could already find out what's working, what's not, based off of what they're doubling downing on, right? So that's literally what we end up doing. We literally find what their like ads are. And if it's on YouTube, you could do the exact same thing. Like if you watch a bunch of the videos that your competitors would go ahead and put their ads on, like look at this, this is an eyewear ad where there's no video, um, you don't show your face on camera, it's literally just an ad with stock footage in the background. Gets 19,000 views per hour, guys. When an ad gets 19,000 views per hour, all you gotta do is just like download vidIQ Pro and you'll see it. And it got 23 million views in the past 30 days alone. This ad is making millions of dollars. If I wanna go ahead and do this, you know, I found the Facebook ads um, for my competitors from just like going to their Facebook page and looking at the ad library. But like with this, all I gotta do is right click any of it, go to stats for nerds, and it gives you this video ID. See this AD6VFF, lowercase 5EADM? That's this right here. If you literally put that ID in the end of any one of these strings of URL, youtube.com forward slash watch question mark V equals, you will literally have the URL that you could go ahead and, for example, see, okay? 
So once you actually have the competitor's information, number two, you found their top performing ads based off of what is working right now. The third step that you wanna do is model their psychology, right? So what I like doing, if I'm like gonna sell these ads, is I like literally writing out what exactly that they're saying. I wasn't eating enough carbs. I was in way too much protein. Look at this, they're, they're saying the exact same thing over and over and over again. So odds are this word is probably their highest like converting thing. And look at this one, I thought carbs were bad, right? Here's another one, I thought carbs were bad. So you can see that they have about like two pieces of copy that work really, really well for themselves, right? Um, next thing that I would do is like on the videos, I would literally write down what the heck they're saying on the video, right? If they're spending all this money, odds are what they're saying is working. If this person is getting 23 million views, I wanna know exactly what the heck that they're saying. Right now, you could either like upload this in something that will literally take it all for you, or you could just literally listen to it because it's like a minute or two minutes long, and literally, I know it sounds weird, physically write it out. This is what the best copywriters for advertising and paid ads do, because they wanna model what's already working by putting the hat of someone that's already succeeding in ads on, because it's kinda like training wheels. Like for example, when I was writing on my blog, I wanted to learn how to write like, for example, Mark Manson, the author of Subtle Art of Not Giving Enough, right? I remember just looking at his blog posts and if I wasn't inspired, I would literally read his blog posts and just like rewrite it. But as I was rewriting it and kind of like just literally like writing what's on his blog posts, right? I started like literally thinking like he did. I started finding his voice and it was literally like an exercise. You don't publish this, of course, because that's like copying. You literally just write it under the person's voice on like some either like a pen on a piece of paper that you could throw away or like some Google Drive that's like just for your own use. And before you know it, you start realizing, oh my God, these are, this is how it feels to write like this person. You do the exact same thing with YouTube ads and Facebook ads and Google ads or any type of advertising ad. You will learn what already works. You will learn the psychology. The next step that you wanna ask yourself are these questions when you've written it out. Step number one, how are they grabbing my attention? What are they saying in the first two seconds that's immediately grabbing me? What are they saying in the first word that's immediately grabbing me? Look at this, I thought carbs were bad, right? Look at this, um, what do they say up here? I wasn't eating enough carbs. So notice, look at this, they say carbs and carbs. This is from the first point view of a woman that would probably think that she's eating too little carbs, right? So it's saying it from the first person, so it's more relatable, right? So that's how they grab people's attention. These are literally the thoughts that people are having. The next question I would ask myself is, how are they piquing my interest? Okay, they're piquing my interest by talking about this uh, body shape quiz and maybe whatever's on the video. In the video, how are they piquing my interest? The next one is D, desire. How are they grabbing my desire? If I'm watching this YouTube video right here, when is it, do, do I actually feel desire to actually want to do something or to take action? And last but not least, what are they doing to take action? Are they having scarcity? Are they saying it's not gonna be up for any much longer? Are they saying that, look, you only have five seconds left? They have like a timer right here, five, four, three, two, one, zero. What are they doing to actually get you to take an action? And when you start asking all these questions, you're like, oh my God, this is literally just a blueprint to run ads. Does that actually make sense? And what you guys gonna understand with paid advertising, most of the times, paid advertising is literally in the creatives that you use and the market research that you use based off of the people that you're serving. If you wanna get really good at paid advertising, once you understand your competitors, once you've created really good creatives, is you wanna dive deeper into the pain points of the people that are actually gonna buy either your product or an affiliate product that you're recommending. So for example, say I wanted to sell to women's dating, right? I could literally go to Amazon, click on one of the top books, and literally go to the top ratings, and I kid you not, People write paragraphs on who they are and their pain points and what they like and what they do not enjoy. Look at this. Uh, this book approach reminds me of what? And then they give some type of advice. And look at this, a lot of this could be used in terms of the angles that you write for creatives for advertising. This is literally where I get a bunch of the creatives. Look at this, I started watching Matthew Hossi on YouTube. Um, men want those parts of you, so own them, right? Like all of these things, you know exactly how to speak to someone that literally would go ahead and want to buy the product. So a lot of the ways that creatives are also formed, the moment you look at your competitors and you model how they're grabbing people's attention, interest, desire, and action, you literally go and dive deeper and see what else are people are talking about, right? Like if I was gonna go ahead and sell this product right here, guess what, look at this. I could take something like this, men want those parts to so own them. I can literally go and model something like this. What are they saying here? I wasn't eating enough carbs. I was, um, men wanted my parts 
and I needed to own them. But I literally just replaced it with something that someone similar would say in like a review for a goal that is specifically met. So even just if you do those alone, you could create really good creatives. And at that point, you know, that paid advertising approach just becomes easier because then you're just putting it in front of the right people. And I think people, when they get into paid advertising, they're like, well, don't I just have to click on a couple of buttons to go ahead and succeed? And that's why a lot of people fail because if they want to do Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, the, 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 the system behind that, what buttons to press are so easy. So easy, there's so much technical videos you could go ahead and create. The hardest part, which is also I think the most funnest part, is learning how to create creatives that actually work. And if you look at my ads and you look at what works, I mean you can see exactly what is working right here. We literally just model what we've seen work from other categories. Like if I literally go ahead and open this right here and you can see kind of like some of the ads that uh, for example work, we can literally just go ahead and even preview this. Look at this, look, I, I just do things that I've been inspired by learning and reading on what's already viral, and I'm literally doing little ads that are kind of modeled off of the psychology, not copied, but modeled off of the psychology of the ads that work because I literally just went and did this. And it doesn't matter if Facebook ads work or it doesn't, if Google ads or YouTube ads work or it doesn't. The psychology has stayed the same from when people were doing it in newspapers when they were doing paid advertising, when they were doing it in sending literally paper letters you know, back in the day, they were sending paper letters as advertisements, right? Nothing has changed from the psychology. The medium might change, but the psychology doesn't change. And if you understand the psychology by understanding these creatives, just by looking at your competitors, what's already working, modeling what's already working, and going to the University of Amazon and find out well, what books are your customers buying, and learning what they're actually saying in their words, and turning them into ads, you will become lethal in paid advertising. And if you wanna know the fast and easiest way to make money with paid advertising, you wanna know how these people went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks with this brand new opportunity this year, then sign up for this week's free workshop below because it's literally the fast and easiest way. As well as check out this video on this podcast right here. Hope you subscribe, love you guys, see you guys later, woo!